Hey there, James here. Welcome to day 10 of my ongoing YouTube video series. Today I want to talk a little about promotions and emails. So going through a bunch of courses, I learned over time that when you are promoting a product, the best ways are to, to get more sales are with bonuses, of course. Um, I also learned that very few people wind up using those bonuses, but they just love getting them. Also learned too that some people buy the main product just to get a certain bonus. So bonuses are critical. Now, I've been fortunate to sell products without bonuses and with them. It all depends on how much time I have to put it all together between the time that I uh, am approved and the time that the launch actually happens. So lately, because I've been so busy, I would say maybe three out of five launches, I'm able to put a full blown bonuses and all page together. The others, I just kind of go by the seat of my pants. And uh, I know that's not a good way of doing it, but right now with how busy I am with different things, uh, but I am getting better. Uh, I am getting better. Um, and it's, I feel that um, the sales I am getting are a result of my improvements. Bonuses are the key. Now the top two, because I can't remember the third one, so I'll just say the top two that have helped me was creating a bonus where it fills a void. You know, you, you look at the product, you find out what's missing or what the person has to buy uh, another OTO who, who maybe can't afford it. And you fill in the blank. I'm going to leave you a link to a bonus that I created that I use quite often in my promotions because it's basically a case study of how I took a product that was a really good product it was missing something. I added a bonus to fill in the blank, so to speak, and made some decent sales. The other thing is uh, scarcity, of course. Um, scarcity in the bonuses, where when you say they're going to expire a certain day, so don't let the person come back a day later and still see them there. Then they think you're bullcrap. If your bonuses are going to expire in two days, make them expire in two days. You know, like put a bypass on the website that says, you know, put a page that says, sorry, bonuses have expired. We're taking, to you, taking you to the product right now. Something like that. Uh, so that's uh, bonuses number one. Number two, uh, where you uh, show the person the back door of the product. And you explain to them what they can get out of the product. Of course, you have to get them to the page, the review page. But once you do, make it interesting. Make your review honest. Tell them not only what you love about it, but tell them what you don't like about it. You know, customers, savvy customers, sometimes they think if, if you love everything that you're promoting, like 100%, they're going to think, oh, you just want to sell it to me. So include the things every product has flaws include the things you're not real happy about but you bet you feel that the person can live without or they can maybe use this bonus that you've created to fix the problem so i hope you enjoyed the thing about bonuses bonuses really help and scarcity really helps okay now you may have heard this before if you have well, I hope I affirmed it to you that the next promotion that you do, get those quality bonuses. And yes, once again, a bonus that fills in a blank, a case study, or I forgot to mention this, a bonus that teaches somebody how you accomplish something, like you made $150 in a promotion. Show them how you did it. Simple as that. I plan on putting a few more together real soon. So stay tuned, I'll let you know. Down below is the link to my one bonus where I 
do a fill in the blank. Thanks, and I will talk to you tomorrow.